Hey gang, Anthony Fontana here, live after five. Uh, probably having some signal issues. Anytime I use the phone uh, to do these things, it, it, it kind of pixelates a little bit, I guess, because there's so much bandwidth available and uh, the phone just can't handle it. So just wanted to touch base real quick. Today was a, a, a great day. Busy, literally, from the when I got up till just about right now. But, but what I loved about it was something that I've been doing now for decades, literally since uh, I was a real estate agent uh, back in the uh, late 70s, early 80s, into the 90s, and as a mortgage guy, I was able to um, get another deal post and make two people and their family, their daughter and their family, super happy because they're first time home buyer. There's nothing more. I, I don't even understand how to lose. There's nothing more exciting for me than to to know that they got the keys to their new home. First time home buyers to me are tremendous. One, they drive the economy. Uh, you know, they for me it's a special feeling because I got to be honest with you, it's never easy to do what we do. You know, I'm usually dealing with people one that have never experienced buying such an expensive asset, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's not easy to do what we do. We're dealing with, you know, I'm like, I'm like a, what's the word? Uh, I'm like a, an orchestra conductor conducting four different orchestras at the same time, right? You know, four different sets of, uh, of, of, of people playing various instruments and it ha you have to keep everybody happy. So, you know, we get hammered. We get all, you know, anything negative flies down on top of us because we're in the front face of the entire process. But to understand what goes on behind the scenes uh, when we're doing something as complex as a mortgage, it's almost unfathomable to the majority of people. I mean, MJ witnesses it on a daily basis. She, she just knows. Um, oftentimes, there's a huge amount of stress involved. You're dealing with, with negativity. You're dealing with closing dates. You're dealing with contract extensions, down payment issues, salary issues. There's a gazillion things that can and usually do go wrong during the process. It's not like the, uh, the past where someone breathed it into a mirror and you gave them a mortgage. In fact, I never did loans like that anyway. So every deal that we do is treated as, as an individual entity itself. Every deal is different. There's no such thing as a cookie cutter approach to doing what we do. So to sit there and look at this beautiful couple uh, who I basically fell in love with, just just smiling ear to ear, uh, I, I'm just I'm just I'm just grateful that I met them. I'm grateful that they they picked me to handle this complex situation for them. And I'm just super excited. They'll be moving in over the weekend. And it really made me happy to see a, uh, they had a, a photo of them drinking a glass of champagne. How cool is that? Their lives will be different from this day forward. They now have an asset that's appreciating. They're going to develop wealth. They have tax advantages. There's so many different things that they're probably not even completely aware of just yet until they actually move in. Yeah, there'll be, you know, there'll be the faucet leak. There'll be the little things that have to get done. I mean, MJ and I, this big house, there's always stuff that has to be done and uh, can't always get it done in a tiny manner for myself. But nevertheless, we, we, this is our castle. This is our home. And I cannot think of anything more exciting than doing what we did today. You know, when I bought that first house when I was 20 years old and I got those keys, uh, there was nothing like it. So I experienced the feeling and the excitement and the, the fear for the months it took to close that loan many years ago. It, there's nothing like it. It's not like buying a car. It's not like buying a fur coat. It's not like anything that you could think of. If you've never done it, it's just different. It's just different. And what goes on behind the scenes is so incredibly complex that it's just mind boggling. You know, I, we, make it, we make it seem effortless because it's just, oh, whatever, we get an email, we respond. But there's 80 things that go on in order to get that one thing done. And you have to do dozens of things to get the thing done, right? So it's just so much involved. And I'm just proud of my team, uh, Jason uh, Moreno and Chris Wobenhurst. Uh, you know, I have uh, Linda 
uh, over in New Jersey handling our processing, our underwriters, Desiree, all of them that handle these deals for me, they're just incredible people. And I never take them for granted. I never look at them as just, ah, you know, come on, get your, you know, do your work, do your job. Because everyone has families, everyone has challenges, everyone has things that go on. And yet they manage to create a symphony that ultimately ends up with a young couple, with a daughter, with a cute little dog, moving in this weekend into their new castle, changing their lives. I, it gets me emotional, it gets me excited. So I'm just proud. Just want you to know that you have these opportunities in your own life. There's people that, whatever you're doing, you have opportunities to change people's lives. Maybe not to what I do, because this is what I do for, for a living, um, for a life actually, all of my life, and I'll, I'll be doing it for the rest of my life because I really enjoy it. Uh, as hard as it is, as tough as it is, as crazy as it is, I'll still do it because I, I thoroughly want to hand the next couple that set of keys. And I'm looking to do dozens and dozens over the next 12 months. And we're just excited and pumped up to be able to do that. Uh, so just if you have an opportunity to change someone's life, it doesn't have to be so complex. It could be simply just reaching out and making a phone call to someone that you haven't spoken to in a half a year or a year. Maybe they need to hear your voice. There's no such thing as coincidences. Life, life just works the way it works. I'm going to give you a real quick example, then I'm going to jump off this thing. Many of you know that uh, we lost a friend of ours on Friday, suddenly, last Friday, uh, you know, Mason Swearingen. Great guy. Just, we, we, we're going to miss him. We went to the wake, and, uh, you know, my heart goes out uh, to his family and his friends that uh, were closer to him than we were. Well, anyway... I'm putting together my lead, uh, my lead system. There's a lot of technology involved, and uh, we had the tech guys on with me yesterday doing, literally working back and forth, them watching me do what I'm doing and them directing me because it's not just going to be one system. There's going to be dozens of them that I'm going to be putting together, and now I know how to do it. Well, anyway, to test it, uh, I, I sent my link to MJ, and she goofed around with it, and I sent one to myself, and I goofed around with it, and it seems to work. And then I thought, I'm going to send one to my brother's Facebook. It's still an active account. I've never shut it down. And I'm not going to shut it down. So I sent my brother Ernie, Ernest Fontana, the link to my bot, to my, my, my messenger robot uh, for uh, first-time home bars. So then I, I logged off of my account, and I went to Ernie's account and logged in for the first time in probably three years. I haven't looked at it since the middle of 2017. He passed away in July of 2017. I haven't really looked at it since. And I know he used to send out friend requests to people that he knew mutually, me, knowing other people, and they would just pop up and people, and he would send out friend requests. So, and it was fine. People always accepted the friend request from my brother. So I opened up his Facebook, went to his messenger, saw my link and clicked it. And that generated the bot to answer questions. So I answered all the questions for my brother and went to my own Facebook on another machine. And of course, it works. And then I looked at his, uh, his posts. And I, just, I was stunned. The very last friend request that he ever got accepted was on July, 19, uh, July 16, 2019. This July, a month ago. And guess who it was? Mason swearing jet. I took a picture of it and I gave it to MJ. I blew my mind. So here's a guy that didn't know my brother from Adam, knew me through my cousin Johnny, and yet this July accepted my brother's friend request, not even knowing, not realizing that my brother had passed away two years ago. Ernie must have sent him that request back in 2017. And it sat there. And Mason must have just saw her today, recognized the last name, and hit that button. I'm sure Mason has 4,000, 5,000 friends. So that was just my story from yesterday. And the reason I'm mentioning it now is one, it blew my mind. Uh, and two, there is an interconnectivity between all of us. We all have a reason for being. We have a reason for existing. And just touching someone's life would be profound. And with my brother, he would have got a kick out of having Mason as his friend. He would have been very upset that he passed. How amazing that one month ago that Mason did that. And I, I now have that as a memory for my brother. 
because he was out there trying to build his own friendship. So with that, I'm going to say goodnight. Say hi to a couple of you. I got Nadim and Mr. Foster is in here. Hey, Gene, how are you, brother? What's going on? Mark, what's doing, buddy? And Sal Brooklyn is in the house. And Big George, what's going on? Liz, hope you're doing okay. Mr. Walter, what's going on, boss? Hi, Darla. How are you? Cousin Frank is always here. See, you're always in here. See, what's going on, man? Do you, ever, do you ever work? You're always on Facebook. What's going on? How you doing, C? Good to see you. Hey, by the way, I responded to your question. All right, so check that out and uh, maybe do a video on that one. Love you guys. Uh, I'm going to grab something to eat. It's been a long day. Going to grab the Lady MJ, have a little bit of wine, and wind down the night a little bit. But um, great day today. I loved it. Uh, I feel blessed. I feel warm. I feel happy. And uh, we love you guys, and we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Nice, same time, same channel.